what an incredible year 2021 was for cloud gaming as a whole in today's video we're going to be giving you guys our top 10 google stadia games of 2021 let's get into this I was a lone boy at the age of back up to lone dog the 10th game on our list was mafia 3 definitive edition now this game was leaked a while ago and a lot of stadiums were anticipating this game to come to this platform so it's pretty cool that we actually got to see this one released this year this was a decent port it ran well and it's pretty smooth for those of you guys who are looking for a gta like experience for google stadia this comes pretty close to filling that need mafia 3 definitive edition gets our number 10 spot The ninth game on our list is Judgment. Now this is a spin-off game of the Yakuza series and again for those of you guys who are looking for a Yakuza like game for Google Stadia this game meets that need for you. Incredible story. This is the remastered version of the game too so graphically this looks really impressive. This was a great get for Google Stadia and I highly recommend you guys if you're looking for a good story driven game with an awesome combat definitely check this one out. Judgment gets our number 9 spot. The eighth game on the list is Humankind. Humankind is a historical strategy game where you'll be rewriting the entire narrative of human history and combining cultures to create a civilization that's as unique as you are. Now I've played this game for a little bit. If you guys are looking for an Age of Empire fix for the Google Stadia platform, this is probably the closest you will get. So this is also the first game on Google Stadia to offer direct touch controls. Would highly recommend this one if you guys are into this genre type of game. The seventh game on our list is Hitman 3. Now this was one of the first AAA games to make its way to the Google Stadia platform in 2021. Graphically, this game is pretty impressive and it's smooth. If you guys enjoyed Hitman 1 and 2, you definitely will love this one. And this also brings a Stadia unique feature by State Share. So definitely make sure you give this a look if you're into the Hitman franchise. The sixth game on our list is Farm Sim 2022. Now there's a couple of reasons why this game made the sixth spot. There's been a trend in Google Stadia in 2021 where they got some games last year but they're missing those games this year like NBA 2K and F1 Racing Series. Uh, Farm Sim 2021 was a game we got last year and it's pretty cool to see the sequel come to the platform this year. But if you are into simulator, I have to say this is one of the best ones out there. Very popular. Highly would recommend that you check it out for Google Stadia as well. Once upon a time, there is a dream. A dream of wide open skies. The fifth game on our list is Riders Republic. Now I have to say this is a game that took us by surprise. This game got delayed and honestly speaking I didn't think it would turn out well. Now for Google Stadia I have to say performance wise this game does not perform the best but to me personally I felt like it ran good enough to have an enjoyable experience. Riders Republic is incredible, it's chaotic but it's a lot of fun. If you ever played the game Motor Stone for the PlayStation 3 console Think about that game when you think about this times 100. It's absolutely madness and a blast to play. Highly would recommend you check this out if you're into racers. It's hard to imagine that this was a different world once, but that was before the fog. The fourth game on our list is Wavetel. Wavetel is a time state exclusive from Thunderfold Games. It's available now and it's free for pro members. In Wavetel, you explore the open sea. This is a story driven action adventure game. This game is really fun, it has a Breath of the Wild vibe, and it looks and plays great on the Google Stadia platform. If you guys are looking for a good adventure game, I would highly recommend this one. For our number 3 spot, we're putting FIFA 22 and Madden 22, yes, we're adding both of them. If you're a sports fan, Stadia was actually a good platform to play sports game this year. Yes, we miss NBA 2K, but we got FIFA 22 and Madden 22. These were also decent port, yeah, people can make the argument that Madden 22 is not next gen. 
but at least FIFA 22 gave us some next gen features. Would highly recommend these games. The ports were actually done really well. Definitely make sure you check these games out if you're into sports games on Google Stadia. Rebuild Paradise. The cost. The number two game on our list is Far Cry 6. Far Cry 6 is a 2021 action adventure first person shooter game developed by Ubisoft Toronto and published by Ubisoft. If you're used to the Far Cry series, you know what this game is all about open world, story driven mayhem where the bad guys performance stands out more than anything if you guys watch the show breaking bad you'll be familiar with the bad guy in this game visually this game is stunning on google stadia and performance wise is pretty impressive this was on a lot of people's game of the year list and this definitely deserves the number two spot here would highly recommend if you're into first person shooters to give far cry 6 a look on google stadia Ethan Winters, there you are. The number one game that we chose for Google Stadia this year was Resident Evil Village. There's a lot of reasons why this game made our number one. First of all, this is Capcom on Google Stadia. Second of all, this was a AAA same day release on Google Stadia. Third, we want to encourage Google Stadia moving forward in 2022 to work on bringing AAA games like this same day release in this platform. And lastly, this game is absolutely brilliant. If you are into the Resident Evil series, this one is up there. Top notch story, graphic and gameplay is top notch as well. This game was definitely a lot of people's game of the year. We definitely highly recommend you check this one out if you haven't yet. Alright fellas, that is our top 10 Google Stadia games of 2021. Let us know in the comments below if we missed any games. We definitely appreciate you guys watching. Again, this list is subjective. Your list might look different, but we're interested to see what your top 10 games are. So make sure you leave that again in the comments below. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Till next time. Peace out.